<laughs> hey people, it's Brown Puppet and this is how to draw a Neo traditional fox. Enjoy. Right people, how to draw a fox. This one's going to be a neo traditional style. So, do 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 do. Mark your marker zero. Right. Start off with, get yourself a nice oval shape. Slightly at an angle. Another angle. Another oval. Bigger. Get off the side of that. Another one just above in the middle. Just there. I'm coming off of this bit, just to the side, about the same size of the head. Another one symmetric to this one. So you've got the one here, big one, small one next to it, to the top. I know in a minute it looks like a bit of a jumble of circles, but trust me, this will make sense. This is going to be your head, front arm, back legs, and we're going to have the tail coming off, but I'll do the tail afterwards. So start off with, yeah, let's start with the face. Self align, just going through the middle. On this end, just bring a little line just down, just right around the center bit. Make a little triangle bit just off at of the top. Like so. That just creates that where his nose is going to be. And I bring this line inwards inside the circle. So about a third of the way, so not quite halfway, about a third. So you curve up, inwards, and then just a little flick upwards. So you see you've got a little just kind of just there. Yeah. Wow, I'm losing my words today badly. Just a little curve, just there. Now come from the top of that, just curve off of that the other way. So you curve up and then off. Just coming back. You're getting about the same length as this, about a third of this circle size. Off the edge of that, just do a nice curve up, curve down. Just to get rough position of the ear. Don't worry about too much, we'll come back and detail it afterwards. And a little one just at the back bit, just there. And now from this little line we've just done here, bring back circular curve not quite touching the top but coming quite close to it so you see this line here just a little bit lower just curve that around there off of this just bring a line back along this center line roughly curve it back just a little bit further than this line here so about that's all so you could just, go, just come back just a tiny little bit and that's where you want this line to end Come from underneath this, keep the line coming backwards, just create a little curve down, come to a point, and then I'm going to curve this. Coming quite close to the mouth, you know, foxes have very small lower chin bits. So come there, curve down, and then slowly start curving the other way. So you're kind of almost going in line with this circle and joining up to this one, like so. Come off of here, just come and slowly from this back bit, bring the line up, coming roughly to where about the centre of this bit is. So connecting to this but not going into it, but about halfway through this space. Curve there and curve down. That's just breaking out where the fox is going to be white and orange on top. Now we've got this, you bring the line up from where that mouth is, that's roughly where you want this eye to start. So if you imagine start, come up there, that's the start of it, and work your way backwards. Now the eye, nothing too dramatic, you're going to bring a line curving at the top. And once you get to the end here, just create like a nice little ball point. Curve back off of that. And going under this top bit. 
Now this top bit I like to curve back a little bit and just bring the line coming around off here. So going towards the front. Same bit just at the bottom. Just bring a little curve backwards and bring this up to the corner bit of the eye, but just there. Inside there is where you're gonna have your people. I think I'll have it around there somewhere. But you can slowly see this fox face starting to build up now. In this little circular bit, just bring in three little dots and three little rows. Flick off a few little lines, a couple just off the other side. Now we've got this here, we're just gonna bring this up and we'll get to the top and we'll slightly curve the other way. Just give it a bit of a flick at the top. I'm going to bring this in, copy in the same line, just inwards a little bit, curving around. I'm just going to bring in little curve shapes, just going up and up, joining in this outer part. Make a similar slight curve just on the other ear. Now, when we get to this bottom bit, I'm just going to bring in a few repeated line patterns. Just following this kind of curved shape. Now you can play around with it, just kind of sketch them in. You literally just do the exact same kind of curve, just slowly bending it. And they come along that bottom part just there. And now this is where like the shoulder is going to be for this leg, or the front leg. So it's going to kind of curve back. Okay, this point here, so you kind of come there to a point. With the back bit here. Kind of curve up and back into it. And from here, it's going to curve down, almost to a point, and just bring this leg coming out. Now I like to make it get close around this kind of point and go off into the paw so the paw is always bigger than this bit of wrist. For the paw I'm just going to bring in some semicircles curving off and one circle in the middle and then place our lines off of that. I like to have one paw here this one's going to be coming just out in front. Now because it's coming from the back here you're not going to see too much of it. Just get a hint of that shoulder just here. And imagine this line following through and the paw is going to come off of here. I like to stretch it out quite a bit. So it's going to come here. The circle sort of paw and a circle in the center of it. Now the body's going to kind of curve along this S shape. This is the curve I'm looking for. Now this back leg is going to come here. This is going to curve back. And this is going to come outwards. So curve back, curve around, and then do another pull bit. Coming in between here, you just break this up, bring this bit, kind of curve there into that bum shape. But bring the fur there so you're not going to see too much of this bum shape. And the tail's going to be coming off of it as well, so don't worry if this stage if it looks a little bit odd. You can have a back leg coming off here or across here if you want. I kind of like it, sort of like to leave this one because it kind of gets lost underneath the body. So just slowly build up those outer parts, slowly building in that shape.
Let's move on that shoulder bit there. This goes around here. This rib cage bit has a nice little curve to it. I want this kind of curving off of here, so it's going to kind of go there. Bring in this curve around there. So you can see the shape really starting to build up now. And the tail's going to come off in between this middle bit. I'm going to help come a bit more this way, I think. Curve like so, and come off. It'll be quite thick, you know, fox tails are quite. Let's get a nice curve of it. And now we've got the basic structure, I'm going to go into pen so you can see everything a lot more clearly. Start off with the eye. The headlight number here, so that's a nice little curve. Coming across, so a little triangle just the nose, curve, and then the mouth, I like to make the end bit a little bit thicker, just there, bring that curve, curve over, bring it back, lines, Second ear. Bring that shoulder part. Bring a circular bit of part. Off of it, and just one little one at the back, just there. Just gonna bring the shoulder, just got a curve here. Everybody get a nice bit of curve in between here. Rid of cage, little section for the white fur underneath. Bring that back. Bring this back leg. Bits. Exact same way done the other foot. Curve that out. Going into the tail. So you can see the basic shape really building up now. Now what I'm going to do, I can find it. Just thicken up some lines.
Twist it around. As long as you just go around the outer edge. Just sticking up some line work. Now that's done. Rub out your pencil. And you can see they're starting to come together now. Start with we're going to flick in the black shades and then I'll work down to the colour. You can do pens, pencil, paints, water paints, anything you want. I'm just going to do what I normally use. The old trusty markers. Now the pores I like to be quite black so I'm going to put in quite a lot of black in these pores. You can see this little bit of hair just come off the toes, a little curve inside here, and just flicking off the back of the paw. So, just show, flick off the back, a little bit in the center, a little line just around there, a little bit in each one of the toes. Flick off some black off the tail. Now I'm going to flick it in some some of the uh, jointy areas. So just a little bit here where I've got a joint. A little bit there. A little bit behind the shoulder. Just a little bit off those ears. Once the black's in there, it's going to come in and I'm going to go down for my grey. So, use my dark grey, just going over the edge of them. Just bringing that shade out a touch bit more. Like so. I'm going to work down the shade to my next one. Blend up. If you're using water paints, just keep watering them down, getting the lighter shades. You know, it's pretty much doing the exact same thing, just with a different medium. You know, there's no major difference. Yeah. Just try to do the exact same thing, same medium, just with whatever materials you have at the time. These are just Windsor and Newton brush markers. You know, but like I said, anything will work. Now you if you've got pencils, use pencils, you've got pens, use pens, you've got paints, use paints. And then from here I'm just going to bring in a few little shade marks just to bring in a bit of shape. So you still like the arm bit here, just bring that there. A little bit of top. And a little bit of fur just coming off his spine bit here, so on this line to kind of trail back. A little bit in this back leg just to show the shape. Nothing too crazy. And a little bit of center of the face, I'm going to just do it above the eye, just a little bit there. A little bit in the ears. A little hint just around the mouth, just under the chin bit. A little bit there, just create that. Bend in the head. And there we got that. It's going to come in with my trusty orange. I've got a slightly darker orange and a brown. It's going to go in like quite solid with the orange to begin with. Pretty much everywhere except for this bottom part of the mouth. And this little bit just here. Because you often get like the uh, white underbelly.
get the block end to try. I don't normally use the block end, to be honest. It's always usually the brush tip I you don't normally use. Now when it comes to markers, brush tip is always by far the best. And it's the reason why Copics, Trio, Flex Markers, Windsor Newton Brush Markers are always the favourite choice. Yeah, I've got other brands, but the best kind of markers are always the brush markers and make sure they're alcohol based. So there we go. So see, let's put the bold colour basically in there. And then I've got a slightly darker one. And I'll just put that in some little areas. Nothing too crazy. Just little areas I want to darken up like. Let's put just over the eye. A little bit under there, and the nose, just a little bit in the ears. Pretty much all the kind of places you would have put your grey. The centre back bit here is going to bring in some little hairlines. Some of that. Still had a few little pencil marks in there, just get rid of those ones. Pupil. I quite like to have mine, you know, like it's almost like a human one where it's like black with a white bit. You do negative where it's like black, you know, and a little white tip, you know, like this. They often do have. So, ch -ch 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 -ch. Get it. Hmm. We'll just. Uh... I was going to put some white highlights. It's just a Prisma pencil, Prisma color, pure white. Just to bring in certain little details. So just a little bit of white. These undermouth parts. A little bit in the eye. Just a little bit, just on the bends. No too crazy, just a couple flicks here and there. We'll do the trick. Come up with the tail. Just going to black. Now rather than these little hairlines, I'm just going to bring in, just flick some of these in. Just so we've done the ones here, just keep flicking the lines. A shape. A little bit white just here on the underbelly. Just a couple of little tiny bits in the pores. Just like on the edge of the toes, and just that little circle bit just there. Which I think I forgot to do. One. And once you've done that, you can add little extras in the background. Oh, I quite like doing the uh, sort of autumn kind of leaves. A uh, quick little easy one. Put a line, come up a little bit, line off the side, line off the side. Come off the edge, curve up into that line. Curve over here, create a little circle, curve down, create a little circle, but just here. Okay, this one up, do the exact same here, 
Bit of a centerpiece. Little curve. Go to this one. Go this one up. Jam back up. At the bottom. And you can have your little detail lines, which I'll do in a pen in a sec. And just a couple of little circles coming off. Now this one kind of come off the actual bit behind him. So we'll just start here, so it's kind of come off his back. Exact same principle. You can make these kind of like spiky tips if you want. You know, like kind of pretty cool. And then scrap my pen. Take your time with these. I'm rushing it a little bit. I'm just going over all those pencil lines we've just done. Then to add your lines, just come off the edge, curve inwards and then downwards into the center of it. Do the rays randomly, couple close together, on single in places. You can do them parallel if you want, I like to have them a little random, I think it just makes it look better. Circles. Just for really decoration. Take your pencil work out. Give me a thicker outline. There it is. To make these kind of autumny colours, so I'm just going to come in with orange into a nice green. This is the way of doing this, so I can quickly fly in my blender. You've seen me do this a few times, I think. Just get your blender. If you're using a marker, if you use more paint, just water it down. Hold the uh, tip to the end of the blender up straight ways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just start working your way across and down until the colour comes through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will just really help you blend them out. Oh, 
actually. Those are running out. Now this one's yellow, but on this kind of paper always comes out a bit kind of golden. So what I'm doing here is I'm just flicking this down near it, not all the way, just colouring this area a bit solid. And then I'm going to do that blender trick, overlapping it. And this will just join them and get a nice transition between green to gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think went a bit too much there. And just keep going across side to side. And join it up. So you see you get a nice little transition green to the yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you can always add a colour bit around the outside if you want, just like so. Just gonna get the white. Let's go around the outline of the fox. This is really an extra, this is, isn't necessary. It's just if you want, you've seen me do this a few times. On this kind of paper, it makes it nice blues. It's just an option. Try to get your thickness the same. This is also good for like white gel pens. And they're very easy getting the same thickness because it's more it's just like a pen is a set thickness. As with pencils, we get blunt after a while. So, this makes it stand out a little bit extra, but not necessary if you don't particularly want it. The white splash on the leaves, and there you go, that's how to draw a fox, you know, traditional style. Hope you liked it, I hope that helps. Check out my videos, like, subscribe, yada yada yada. I'm the Broken Puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.